So in this tutorial we will like to discuss about the zeolite process for the softening of the water from here that is from this chamber the water hard water is inserted and from here NaCl is passed for the regeneration purpose this is the zeolite and from here we get soft water what is actually zeolite made of it is made of sol sodium aluminum silicates that is for the formula is Na2 O Al2 is O3 O3 X S I O2 Y H2 O here X and Y denotes the number of molecules okay this x can be ranged from uh, 2 to 10 and this y can be ranged from 2 to 6 this is zeolite so now there are basically two types of zeolite one is a natural zeolite and other is synthetic zeolite that is synthetic zeolite is that uh, man-made kind of the zeolite in which those in synthetic pore synthetic zeolite there are lots of lots of pores inside it in natural zeolite there is less amount of pores so that the ion exchange cannot be held in natural zeolite very easily but due to the presence of pores in synthetic zeolite the exchange ion exchange can be held in this figure i have shown the pores in the in the color of the green so that you can understand it very well okay so this is the formula for zeolite so now zeolite absorb that is zeolite exchange the calcium and magnesium salt and make an insoluble precipitate in the water which can be easily removed okay that is which can be easily absorbed in the zeolite bed okay for example uh, we will now discuss about the reaction held in it CaCl2 plus Na2Ze that Ze denotes the all these parts so CaCl2 that is calcium permanent hardness plus Na2Z that is plus zeolite gives us CaZ plus NaCl uh, for balancing the reaction okay so then the magnesium hardness MgCl2 plus Na 2z gives us mgz plus twice nacl okay another reaction mgso4 that is permanent hardness of magnesium with the zeolite gives us mgz plus na2 SO4 okay this is all the reaction held in the zeolite for the softening of the water now we will see that how it is regenerated that all uh, that means it has some limits to absorb okay so now we will see then after the pores are completely filled we have to put 10% of NaCl so to regenerate that pore okay 
सो द रिएक्शन विल बी सी ए जेड ई प्लस एन ए सी एल गिवस एन ए टू जेड ई प्लस सी ए सी एल टू टूवाइस एन ए सी एल फॉर एम जी जेड ई दैट इज मैग्नेशियम जियोलाइट प्लस टूवाइस एन ए सी एल गिवस एन एन ए टू जेड ई प्लस सी प्लस एम जी सी एल टू दिस इज एम जी सी एल टू दिस इज ऑल अबाउट द रीजनरेशन रीजनरेशन प्रोसेस Now we will find out the advantages, disadvantages in it. Advantages is is first advantages is less time. Less time required to convert hard water into soft water. Then easy to set up. Very cheap. And zeolite can be used again and again. if it is not absorbing the calcium and magnesium hardness then apply the nacl that will regenerate the pores inside it so what are the disadvantages for it disadvantages are only calcium and magnesium salts are absorbed other salts are not absorbed in this okay so and uh, when it it react with uh, zeolite the sodium is actually inserted in water so the water contains more amount of sodium okay so this is all about the zeolite process